awkwardness Put on my boots and a lily white dress A million words but how to express What I'm feeling when I see you You flash a smile, I'm like, is this happening? I look your way and then of course drop everything You walk over and ask if I'm alright Hey, whatever it takes to break I'm doing Joe Wick's Poo channel. And uh, yes, we are currently homeschooling as well. So I thought I'd make a little video today because today is quite interesting. As Ted said, we are going to be doing the Joe Wick's PE lesson poo and lesson. then poo lesson apparently. And then um, this afternoon, oh, this morning we're going to do a few lessons with Ted. So I've got some English planned and a bit of maths as well. And then Ted has a singing lesson with Little Sing. So I belong to a little choir. You're little Mix. Yeah. So I belong to a choir called no, little Mix. Big Sing. And then no, they have a, uh, they have another choir called Little Sing, but we don't have one in our area currently. So it's Ted is going to do it. Joe Wix's No. So Ted is going to do it on uh online this afternoon on zoom with lots of other children so we're looking forward to that actually it's this morning sorry it's at 11 o'clock and they're going to do that every wednesday for children as well and then we've got shopping coming okay. so we do actually have to come out no don't touch don't please see. don't no no don't touch come around here oh, right so i want that there ted okay please right so yes we've got lunch We've got lunch and then we've got to go out this afternoon because we've got our delivery coming today, our shopping delivery. And we've got to take some bits to Nana, haven't we? Yeah. So we've got to do that. And we've also got to try and find some eggs because we couldn't get any eggs from Tesco's. All these people who keep hoarding this food, I don't know why. But anyway. So yes, we're trying to make the best of a really difficult situation. The past few days have been quite difficult, I have to say, so as you can see. No, yeah. <laughs> but we're trying to make the best of it. We've made yeah, a little plan now. So we've got a little plan in, in um, I can't remember the word I was going to say then. But yes, we've got a plan. And so we're going to do the Madden plan. And we're all systems go. So yes, oh, I'll take you over and show you our schedule. I'll take you over and show you our schedule <laughs> and then we'll start the PE lesson hopefully. As you can see, it's absolute chaos right now. Yay! So just quickly, this is our little schedule for the day. So I wrote it out. So at nine o'clock we have PE with Joe Wicks. At 9.30 till 11 we have English and Maths and at 10.30 we've got Snack. And then Big Sing at 11. Yes, 
and he's really looking forward to that. And then 12 to 1.30 I thought lunch, and then 1.30 onwards I thought he could do games and help mummy and stuff, and then 3 o'clock is free time, because at 3 o'clock I need to make a video anyway, so yes, so that is our day, um, and we I thought we could decide each day what we wanted to do, so we decided yesterday to do this, um, and so we're going to start the PE lesson now and at the end of the day we'll decide what we want to do for tomorrow so yeah we're trying to do it as a team really fingers crossed it will all come together eventually So I've left Ted downstairs, he's currently on a BBC Science app on my laptop and I've had to come up because I'm now using Daddy's tablet to do some work on. So what I'd normally do, what we did yesterday was I went downstairs and sat next to him and I got on with a bit of work and he did a bit of work as well. Daddy is upstairs on uh, the computer upstairs so that's why I can't use that one. So yes. Um, so we're, we're kind of getting there now, we're kind of getting into a routine which I think is good. Monday was a bit messy because we had a, an appointment with Dawn and I probably should have left that until later in the day. Dawn is our homeopath and um, yeah we both had an appointment and it just got a bit messy and we didn't really know what we were doing but now we've come up with a little schedule I feel much better and I think Ted feels much better today as well so yeah we're finally sinking into a little routine which is good but yeah it's just been a weird experience this one it really has especially for me um yeah I need a better way I need some inspiration something that better explains all my motivation to meet you know you and be on your mind I have to, but how do I put this right? Don't overcomplicate, just say hi Or whatever it takes to break the ice
Do you have a road map that I can try? Cause I think I just got lost in your eyes <laughs> I have to tell you, I really want to Whenever I look in your eyes I won't make the same mistake twice So I just thought I'd share with you We just had a Tesco's delivery And I just thought I'd show you what I now do Whenever we get fruits and vegetables from Tesco's, I get my bowl of water here and I fill it with like just cold water and then I put like a cap full of this white vinegar in with the fruit and vegetables. So I put all of the fruit and vegetables in, fill it with water and then put a cap full of the white vinegar in here. Um, and white spirit vinegar is really good. It actually gets rid of a lot of germs. It kills a lot of germs on your food because they now say that plastic can carry the um the coronavirus um it can carry it for up to 48 hours or something so i always wash the vegetables again now i used to do it and i stopped but i've started again so the shopping has been put away ted has had his snack i've got an easter egg yeah gummy bears and chocolate mm, yeah so uh we all the squashies squashies and that's the one and the giant kids are the big toy yeah so we ordered the Easter eggs early just to get some. So yes, we've got the Easter eggs now. Um, it's a lovely day outside, so Ted and I have decided to go into the garden. We're going to go on the trampoline. I don't know how long Mummy's going to last on the trampoline. <laughs> I have to say, probably only about five minutes, but yeah. Oh, I'll tell you what, this coronavirus and half keeping me fit with the Joe Wicks PE things and, and getting on the trampoline every day, I tell you. Yes, so, so we're going to go out into the garden now. Um, Ted was actually on the BBC Bite Size website as well. BBC Poo Size! BBC Bite Size. And he did an Earth Squad game, which is, oh sorry, he did an Earth Squad game, which is a key stage two. And he's also done a uh, dinosaur discovery today I as well. Did, so I'm kind of just letting this, him. Yeah, and a keyboard disco thing. So I'm kind of just letting him decide what he wants to do every day because this is a funny world at the moment. So, and anything to keep him happy and occupied is good for me. And he's going to do his big sing in about 15 minutes or little sing, should I say. So yeah, we're looking forward to that too. Ready to shake up and break the ice. Ted has started his big sing lesson. <laughs> he looks as though he's really enjoying it. It's all on Zoom. <laughs> all right, I'm going away. <laughs> so Ted has just finished his little sing and he really enjoyed it he had such a good time and we've done a video for them haven't we and what are you showing them and he's just received his my car poster oh. 9.99 only and he's just received his lego magazine as well that comes once every three months my husband got that somehow i'm not sure how um it's actually about quarter past 12 now so it's lunch time in this house so i'm gonna make some lunch for us all how's gone upstairs he's taken his lunch with him i think 
because he's got meetings from 12 until 3 so so I think we're probably going to go out this afternoon and try and deliver the stuff to my mum I still can't get in touch with my mum I'm hoping she's okay I might have to take my key with me and go inside the house but I don't really want to um, but she hasn't answered me so I'm wondering if her phone how it is her phone working okay so hopefully fingers crossed she's all right so we'll go and see that this afternoon I think we're going to do that this afternoon so yes anyway I'm going to get on with some lunch now Break down the awkwardness Put on my boots and a lily white dress A million words but how to express What I'm feeling when I see you You flash a smile, I'm like, is this happening? I look your way and then of course drop everything You walk over and ask if I'm alright Hey, whatever it takes to break for lunch and he's going to be having some crisps with this as well and he'll probably have an ice lolly for dessert and I'm just having leftovers and I'm just having leftovers from last night oh it's crazy days at the moment crazy days right so I just thought I'd update you um I'm in the hallway currently how should do uh, that's what if you're wondering what those are behind me they're my coats um yes i'm in the hallway i'm just about to go out the door my mum still isn't answering the phone so i want to go and check that she's all right i've actually got her front door key so if i need to go in i'm gonna have to because otherwise no one's gonna know whether she's dead or alive fingers crossed she's in there and okay i'm a bit worried that she might have fallen down the stairs or something she lives by herself now my dad passed so yeah um i'm a bit worried but i'm sure she's fine she i think her phone is probably playing up and she can't hear her messages so yeah i'm gonna go and uh and see if she's there now so wish me luck so i've been to my mother's um <laughs> And she still didn't answer the door to me, but I spoke to one of the neighbours and he said that he'd seen her yesterday afternoon and she looked fine and he'd seen her this morning as well, about nine o'clock. So I'm wondering if she'd gone out and done a sneaky bit of shopping. She's actually one of the high risk people as well. Um, so I'm wondering if she's gone to like Sainsbury's or somewhere this morning to get a few bits because she thinks we've forgotten. Oh, I do love my mother, but I think all these old people that keep going out should just be locked up. I'm sorry, you can't go out, especially if you're over 70. It's not funny. Oh, if only they had the internet, eh? Oh, my mother doesn't actually have any internet connection at all, so and she's not willing to learn it either, which is fair enough, I suppose. All she has is the Guardian, but yeah, so... She, she, 
so she doesn't realise, I don't think, the extent or the danger of her going out because there could be an NHS worker in the shop with her at the same time who's got the virus and she has asthma as well so she's definitely in that high risk category and she still keeps going out, I'm like stop! <laughs> um, but maybe she just went to the post boxes, post box to post something or you know she could have done, just gone you know and sat in the car for a little while somewhere, I mean it is quite lonely and quite isolating in the house so yeah so yes hopefully we'll be able to get in touch with her soon but I've come back home because uh, there's a little farm shop just near us that sells eggs so I want to go down there and see if they've got any eggs um, but I forgot my purse so I've got to come home and get my purse so yeah I'll continue this vlog I promise oh I'm glad my mother's alive though that's all I can say touch wood she's all right so Teddy's bear has got a bag of sweet and sour dummies I'm going to just suck him like a duck. I like a baby. Yeah, and um, this afternoon he's on his tablet playing a few games. He's been on the Switch this afternoon as well. I let him have about an hour on there because I needed to go out and get eggs. We're not really too sure about taking children out and stuff. We probably will go out for a walk and stuff, but yeah. not to shops and things mm -hmm. at the moment. Um, so, yes, he's going to do that. And me... I am going to film a video for my Googie's Kitchen channel for next week now because Ted's quite happy sitting playing his games on his tablet now. So yeah, um, Mum has called. Oh, I've gone dark, haven't I? Mum has called um, and she is okay. She basically forgot to put the phone. She's been phoning up for her insurance um, for her car and she forgot to put the phone back on the hook. That's what Howard just told me. So yeah, at least she's okay. Thank goodness. God, she does scare me sometimes, my mother. Oh, it's like having a seven-year-old. It really is. Um, but anyway, yeah, so she's okay. And I'm now off to film a video, but I'll probably be back later. So see you later. Bye. Hello, everybody. So it's been quite a long day. I finished my video. So we had roasted butternut squash, vegan mac and cheese, which I forgot to show you because I was too busy videoing it. Um, yeah, so we had that for dinner this evening and I thought I'd do a video while I was making it because it just makes it easier that way. Um, I've had to rethink situations now and, and start to sort of think round things, which is probably a good thing. It makes you more adaptable, but yeah. Um, oh, I, found, I, found, I finally saw my mother as well um, she came over and collected her food but she kept well back so I put the food on the doorstep and then I stepped back and she went and got it she's wearing gloves and like she wears a scarf over her face everywhere she goes as well but she's not going out of the house what she's doing is she's actually going out for little drives because she gets a bit bored in the house she said I'm going a bit stir crazy bless her so she's not going like out out she's not going and seeing people but she's just I think she's she just my if my dad was here he'd be laughing right now saying your mother's never gonna stay in <laughs> it would just be like he would find this hilarious right now I'm sure he would but anyway yeah so she's fine she's safe and she's well um and she's not really going out she's just going out in her car and having a drive round <laughs> she says the roads and the streets are really lovely at the moment I'm like yeah there's no one on them mum um so yeah so uh, yeah, and Ted has finally gone to bed. So I think I'm going to end this vlog here. I think I showed you our basic day, our school day. Um, so in the afternoons as well, while I was doing my video, I was also um, writing a blog as well. So once we've done our morning school morning routine um, and Ted's done a bit of maths and English and stuff I tend to let him do what he likes on his on his like tablet and then I kind of get on with doing stuff so we have like a quiet hour or so just so I can get on and do a bit of stuff in the afternoon so yes um, it's been an, it's been a better day today I have to say Tuesday and Monday were a bit hard um, but I think we're fine as I said at the beginning of this video I think we're finally getting there and now we've got a little routine it's making it easier as well so yes really pleased with our day today we had a lovely day I think we've had such a nice day today um, and we've done 
quite a lot and Ted really enjoyed the big singing in the end as well so the little singing little sing sorry I'm hoping they continue that afterwards and I will put big sing in the description box below they have quite a few choirs across the country um, they're more up north and down south at the moment but I'm sure if you request something they will try to sort it out for you so yeah anyway I think I'm gonna go now because I'm getting really tired and this has probably gone on for hours as well so so that's it from me thank you so much for watching please feel free to give me a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and please feel free to leave any comments below if you're a mum out there and you're doing homeschooling how's it going I'd love to know are you losing your hair like I am at the moment <laughs> um, and please don't forget to hit that subscribe button see you all soon bye